For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Some of you guys a bit of a review video on a brand new windbreak from Vango. So with me here today, I've got the Vango Elements Pro Shield windbreak. So this essentially is a polled windbreak that's designed to match their kind of caravan awning range in that sort of Pro Shield material. But there's no reason you can't really use this windbreak in its own right, or for that matter, for any of the other awnings or other manufacturers, really. So the concept of this is really quite nice. What Van have really done is almost gone back to the drawing board to create something that's a little bit different in comparison to what they've maybe done in previous years. So what we find here is it uses a really nice Pro Shield material. So it's about a 300D fabric uh, and it's got a sort of really nice sort of lifespan to it. Now, where this maybe sort of differs in terms of where it used to be previously is there is, um, <laughs> there's no additional kind of um, steel guide points. You've just got your normal kind of guy ropes itself. Instead, to give you the structure and stability that you necessarily need, what you've got is a lower, basically a spike, which is quite sort of deep to a certain extent. So you can see where the plate normally sits. So it's going to sit that much beneath the ground. Very similar, similar to kind of the Isabella style. So they've almost traded kind of what you do. So you almost, this plate itself, you can obviously put the spike in and there's a little ridge located on that to sit at nice and neatly in there. So it's a really great sort of depth in the ground. And, uh, admittedly, to be fair, we've not gone fully down to the ground at the moment, but that way it gives you a really low cut to the ground as well. And there's elasticated points located down there as well, just to make it sit really nice and neat. One thing I do also like is the fact you've got not only sort of vertical, ver like vertical steel poles, but then cross poles as well. So that way you can get great tension and allow you to create almost different shapes and still gain that stability and that torsion in the top of the fabric itself. One thing to mention is also that there's an optional gate that is available and it merely just kind of sort of clips on and you can almost join this together and have a special kind of latch as you can see here. So you can obviously latch it on, close it and open it. And again, it's very kind of Isabella-esque in terms of its overall design. So which again is quite nice. The difference being is certainly than the back, what you find actually is the panel here, um, rather than having the sleeve, it kind of Valkyries directly on, but you can really manipulate it into whatever shape you want to come to. Comes with its own kind of little storage bag. The way it's basically up is pretty darn rock solid because you've got obviously that really nice stake into the ground itself. And there's no reason, you know, you can buy some additional guide points if you really want to give it a little bit more of a point either way. But for me, what I do like to do with these kind of windbreaks is create a bit more of an enclosure around and then guide externally from it. That gives you an all sort of internal space where you can put furniture and that sort of stuff and not have to worry about guide points coming into your living area rather than going out and protecting the wind from pushing it directly in. But it's a really nice model, something a little bit different. The gate is an option, optional extra uh, and again assembles quite simply and easily. Comes, as I said, already with its own sort of storage bag. And surprisingly, it's not overly kind of that sort of weighty for kind of the steel poles you've got in there. And again, for a pack size, it's quite decent, easy to put in and out where we're using it for current caravan kind of use, or more importantly, um, you know, just for general kind of camping purposes as well. But I think all in well, good sort of grade of steel. The fabric looks quite smart and the way it's kind of trimmed, it, you know, it's really easy to get this looking sharp as we go. But so quite a little impressive, something certainly new to look forward to. I think they're going to be a bit like hen's teeth in terms of getting hold of them. That's the only thing I will say. It's quite a, it might be a bit of a delay in terms of the manufacturing process, but it's, it's worth one thing to worth getting ahead of the game with that. But any more questions, queries, feel free to check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through the website. We've got more information on things like the pack sizes, floor dimensions, um, obviously the individual kind of spec of the material and things like that as well. Uh, so that's always worth a look. But all in all, that's kind of our little video review on the brand new Bango Elements Pro Shield Windbreak.